Hey, Rebels, what's up? Shanghai 6, front towards Gamer. It's so weird. It's so quiet in here. It's the end of the night. That's what? Right. No kidding. All right, who am I talking with? This is Kevin O'Leary. And what's your role here? I'm Global Brand Manager for Metal of Honor Warfighter, that awesome game you just played. Played the hell out of it. The big focus tonight was we got a little taste of the single player, but the big focus was the multiplayer. And I kept hearing about esports. Now, what? I know everybody's trying to get their, their hooks in the esports ever since they watched League of Legends take off. So <laughs> what, what are we doing for esports? Um, so we showed you guys our brand new sport mode, we call it. It's called Home Run. And this was a six on six. We had you guys play five on five tonight, but it's up to six on six mode. Um, very, very fast paced, kind of Counter-Strike inspired in a lot of ways. I think the key here and that makes it so much fun is I told everyone right from the beginning, I said, you know, you're gonna have problems, you're gonna go in there, you're gonna screw up right away. And everyone did, everyone ran in, kill each other and like one guy ran around for a while until he like got picked off and it's really about these super small tight maps and just playing very strategic there's really only a couple alleyways to and from in and out and it's an attack and defend mode you have two flags to capture but you also can eliminate the other team and there's a lot of kind of minutia details that will get you like more experience in it but i think what's so key about it is the simplicity it's attack defend there's flags it's either you capture the flag you don't or you take out the other team Right. And you score different points based on whether you take the team out or what. Now, you also... Size midway through. Oh, yeah, that's right. Attack and defense. Yep. Ten, ten, ten matches or something? Ten if it goes that long. Otherwise, there's a points-based system. It basically does an elimination, like can you win, et cetera. Okay, and then you, there was Hotspot, which was a very interesting take on that. Well, let's hear your thoughts on that. So Hotspot's kind of uh, an amalgamation mode. You took uh, the best of different things. It's really, it's objective based, also attack, defend. You don't switch midway through this one. Uh, but what makes it cool is the attackers have kind of five starting points where there's potential targets. There are supposed to be PETN caches and you go after them in whatever random order to sign, but the defenders know in advance so they can go and kind of get set up get ready to defend that point before the onslaught but what makes it fun is you really get to experience and see all of the map i would actually say that that's probably the best mode if you want to get to know a map you can you are forced ideally to see the whole thing from different angles too whether you're attacking or defending well not only that but you had the five different points and after you take out one it resets the map where it's like all right You've got those four other points, or four? Is it is it always the same five points on the map? It's always the same five points, but the order is random in which they pop up. Okay, but still, it it really creates a chaotic kind of situation. I mean, if you're camping on one point, or where typically you have A, B, and C, and you know that they're always going to be going for that point, whereas here it could be any of those points. So guys are running all over the map to try to get a jump on. All right, well, I yeah. think it's going to be here, and next thing you know, you're in their, you know, you're in their area, and it, it gets pretty crazy pretty quickly. Yeah, and it's kind of fun because once you plant the bomb as an attacker, it almost switches roles. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, crap, Like i got to defend this. And then the defenders are trying to get there and defuse. So I feel like the leapfrogging of the style of play is what makes it fun. And you often get a lot of support actions because it's 10 on 10. Right. So if you get a couple kills, bring in a couple more, and you start rolling that plant a bomb, help out your teammate, all of a sudden you got a lot of points calling some big support actions. Now the third one was sector control, if I remember? That was the first one, yeah. Well, right, but yes, reverse order. Right, yes. Got it. Okay. What was the what was the story there? Uh, Sector control is returning from Metal of Honor 2010. It's three point uh, capture the or capture the flag, kind of king of the hill actual area. So you can kind of raise the flag up. It's conquest style from Battlefield for the Battlefield players out there. Um, three of them that you go back between and, and basically accumulate points as you go through kills. More flags you have, the more points you get. All right, sounds pretty good. And I, I had a hell of a time tonight. I'm trying to think what other thing. Oh, the fire team concept. Absolutely. Let's go over that, of course. Yeah, I was like, how could you forget? We were had you. Who'd you play with? You had some good fire team buddies. I had some good with some not so. Good. But you know, hey, that's 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 multiplayer, right? Yeah, and I think what's cool about fire teams is just the very the fact that it's so like kind of pure about you and a buddy playing together, and it's simple and it's easy to understand. And there, we heard a lot of feedback tonight about feeling like not obligated but you're like i want to play this person i feel bad if i'm not like with them because there's this like safety net almost of playing with someone but also just the experience points of being able to like hey like cover right i'm going left sort of stuff it's really simple and you see it all the time where a guy will cover you and turn around and be like nice thanks for like not letting me get killed or vice versa or if your buddy gets killed and you avenge him, they pop right in behind you again. They're like, I'm riding back on your six. Let's well, go. Well, not just that. If you're running around by yourself, you're going to run into other fire teams who you <laughs> might get the one guy, but the other guy's going to turn around and whack you. Um, the other side of the, the, the issue with the fire team is when you take out one of the fire team members, it highlights the other fire team member. Now, how, what was the decision there? 
Um, it's a kind of a quick base mechanic, so it only lasts for a few seconds. So if you're my fire team buddy, you get popped by another guy. The guy that kills you will turn red for a few seconds, a red outline. Um, but as we heard from some people, they just start turning shooting. And it's like, well, there's a wall there or some extra stuff. It's very often or very rarely, I should say, a direct line of sight to that person. Usually you're, you're often tasked with actually finding that person. I tend to actually find it useful to be like, identify that person, see where they're maybe heading off to, and then not go that way maybe. It's like maybe I'll go and hang back and let my fire team buddy come, and then let's take them two on one again. Because right. you know they're just sitting in that doorway waiting on you. Yeah, or odds, odds are if you see a guy, you usually assume there's another guy around him, their fire team buddy, for example. So you never really know, and it's a good, it's just kind of a good self-indicator to tell you what you want to do. Maybe he's like reloading or he's turning the other way. Great, let's go take advantage of him in the back. Things like that. So it's just a it's just a little bit of situational awareness and part of what's inspired by the tier one operators of fire team concept is from them knowing their partner so well, they don't have to see them on the battlefield or where they are. They know where they are. They feel that presence. And it's the same thing. And if the guy's like attacking your fire team buddy, you know where he is, you hear the gun fire. You know, you can kinda of triangulate it and so that's how we've made it a gameplay piece. And and turned it into a green halo, but yeah. we get the idea. It works for gameplay. You gotta do it. You gotta of course, do it. of course. All right, well, Kevin, certainly appreciate it, and it's been a hell of a night. Uh, I'm going to go to bed now. Awesome. Uh, you too, I guess? Yes. Definitely. Thanks again. Certainly appreciate it. Shanghai yeah. 6 out.